Hey everybody, welcome to ProfitCopilot.com. My name is Mick Meany and this is all about helping you to get better results online. So today I'm going to go through maybe six or seven books that you might not be aware of. Chances are you've heard of some of them, but these are business books, marketing books that I have found very inspirational in not only just in business, but also in life. So I know a lot of people will give you like a list of books that you absolutely have to read. So I'm trying to avoid those books because you will see the same books mentioned on every list. Stuff like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, How to Win Friends and Influence People, uh, Influence, Science and Practice. And all those books are fantastic. And if you get a chance to read them, absolutely do. But Chances are you've either read those books or you've uh, heard about them and you know the basic gist. So today I'm going to give you something a little bit different. So I'm going to go through seven books, I think, that have uh, have had a big impact on my business and on me personally. I'm going to start with this one. So this is Guerrilla Marketing Revolution by J. Conrad Levinston. And this book was actually given to me by my father. And uh, it is kind of what kick-started the whole direct marketing thing for me. So up until that point, I was consumed with technology and uh, the coding and design aspect of marketing. And this is what really changed my mindset from uh, from the technology stuff to understanding and appreciating the psychological aspects because in my teens I read the uh, the study books for psychology absolutely loved it and then I dropped it for a few years and this is what brought everything back to me and what can you say if you've read this book you'll know how powerful it is now I'm trying to find some room to, to uh, put these books down. So the next one is Ogilvy on advertising. So David Ogilvy, he was a marketing genius. Uh, it's rumored that Mad Men, the uh, TV series, Don Draper was based on Ogilvy. So this book has got some of his best adverts in there. And I would recommend buying this just for the copy, just to have a look at the, uh, the adverts and use it as a swipe file because some of the some of the best known adverts in history uh, are in this book and they were created by Ogilvy. So that's book number two. OK, this this is where things start to, to veer off a little bit uh, into maybe the unusual so this book is by Darren Brown. It's called Tricks of the Mind. Darren is a magician, um, but he uses some pretty cool psychological techniques and he shares some of them in this book too. Now, bearing in mind that the guy is a magician, he puts some, you know, some magic tricks in here, but he, he uses a lot of uh, psychology and NLP and stuff that we can use in our marketing. And this has been very inspirational. Now, the thing about Darren Brown is when he makes it look like mind control, it's actually a magic trick. So you have to understand that most of what he's doing is an illusion and the real mind control stuff is the stuff that looks like a magic trick. So he does it back to front to make it harder to figure out exactly how he's doing his tricks. But he does reveal some of the psychological, uh, I suppose, manipulation stuff, for lack of a better word. Um, I suppose manipulation is a funny thing, isn't it? It comes out to the intent, really. I, th I think, of course, we can use we can use anything as a weapon if we choose to. It all comes down to our own internal code and ethics. And this book, this will give you a tool set that you can use um, 
to make your message clearer. So another one that I'd like to uh, show you is The Art of War by Sun Tzu. If you've watched The Sopranos for more than five episodes, you've probably heard about this book because they keep talking about it and for good reason, right? So, okay, they're in The Sopranos. They're obviously a, like a mafia family and they're at war in different ways. But this book, how can I sum it up? Well, one of my friends, my friend who recommended that I read this, summed it up really nicely. He said, The Art of War is a book that teaches you how to get what you want without pissing anyone off. So how to get more of what you want without annoying anyone or making enemies in the process. And I found this to be a very easy to read book. The little, um, little sections, little, what's the right word? I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the right word, but there's little quotes, little paragraphs that little parables, I suppose, that will give you solid advice and help change the way you think about things, especially conflict. And, you know, in, in this business thing that we do, there's a lot of conflict, um, not just with competition. In fact, I think that's really an old an old way of viewing things. But um, sometimes, you know, we, we come up against it, don't we? So The Art of War by Sun Tzu is worth checking out. It will help you deal with people, deal with people, deal with people in uh, in a nicer way. And uh, let's see. I'm not sure what book we're on now, but this one is called The Prince by Nicola Machiavelli. I'm sure we've all heard of, of the phrase Machiavellian. This is where it comes from. So this is essentially a series of letters that Machiavelli writ had written to a king and its advice. And at the time, this book was deemed almost satanic for uh, the advice that it, it delivers. But in today's society, this is almost like a manual on how to survive. Um, again, it comes down to the intention. I don't like to think that uh, this uh, obviously this stuff can be used for for bad politicians use this book in a negative way to deceive and to lie but again it's all about the intention so if you are customer centric your focus is on delivering value and making the world a better place these kind of books this book in particular will help you achieve it quicker because you're coming from a place of of positivity and it's if you're in the mindset of m more of more of what you can give instead of what you can get and that's your your real your real driving force then you can use all these books in a very positive way so let me just show you um this one we're coming to the end of this now so this isn't the last book, it's, it's uh, the second to last book. This is Words That Sell. And this is essentially a list of, of words, power, power words that you can use to grab attention and help your prospects feel a certain way. So, for example, let's see... It starts with the word authentic there, so it gives you alternative words to use. So you could use the real thing, real life, true to life, valid, legitimate, genuine. These are all, all alternative words for authentic. So it's, it's got, you know, hundreds and hundreds of words to help you improve your copywriting. And then the final book that I've got for you. This is the Big Daddy of <laughs> digital marketing, even though it was written in 1966. Breakthrough advertising. You've heard me talk about this before. This is by Eugene Schwartz. And 
we wouldn't, well, we probably wouldn't have the modern day marketing funnel without this because this maps it all out. It describes the different segments of every market and it gives you the, the tools you need to communicate with every segment of that market more effectively. I've gone through this book previously a couple of times on Profit Copilot, but if you're interested in that one in particular, and it is an expensive book, I've got free videos and podcasts for you uh, to give you a flavor of what the book is about and to help educate you and inform you of some of the valuable lessons you'll find in this book. So, there you go. That's seven books that have had a massive impact on me personally and in my business. So, I hope you found this useful. If you have, hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel too, because you and me, we're, we're going to get on like a house on fire, right? We've got the same mission. We've got the same values. And I really do want you to succeed. So, hit the little notification bell when you subscribe. So you get notified when I upload another video, which is going to be tomorrow. So thank you for checking this out. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.